The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look here at the DAX. As you can see, we have a potential double top up here uh, in the DAX. You can see the smaller ABCD pattern inside of that, whether that's going to stop or not, but it certainly hasn't. It's a four-hour chart, so that's a considerable uh, data that's gone through, you know, to complete that. Uh, we're going to take a look, of course, uh, at the FTSE like we always do. Let's get it up here, and you'll see we've done the same thing, but it's not a double top in the FTSE. Of course, it's a three drive uh, to a top pattern uh, over the four-hour chart with the big ABCD up here. Hasn't quite made the double top, but you can see we're in that area where the ABCD has uh, completed. So we'll take a look at that. We've got one uh, commodity, folks, that is, uh, should be on everybody's uh, – Everybody's, uh, what do you call it, uh, guideline or whatever, uh, crosshairs, but uh, the gold. Uh, first, before I get to the gold, I want to do the treasury bonds. Radar, that's the word. Hey, uh, Dave, I want to tell you how impressed I am with your level of knowledge. I listened to your segment with uh, Tommy O'Brien about Albert Einstein. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I don't know how you have time to, to read all of that, and, how, and not only that, but understand it is what really is uh, – it, it just truly amazed me. I'm very impressed. You should be very proud of your level of knowledge. Okay, let's move on here to uh, take a look at the, the FTSE we've already looked at. We want to take a look at the Nikkei because we're seeing a bearish pattern here in the Nikkei, much very similar to what we're seeing uh, in the Hang Seng. So we'll see you're right at that 61% retracement at this 22,500. We're very, very close to it. It's only uh, what? So that's only a few hundred points away. So keep an eye on this uh, Nikkei. It's going to be very interesting. It's a beautiful ABCD down, a really nice double ABCD up with a butterfly pattern. So I don't know if you trade the Nikkei or not. I I don't, but uh, it'll probably be affected by the Japanese yen, and uh, we'll w watch the yen dollar, of course, to see uh, what it does. So that's the one. Let's move over here. Well, we should do the Hang Seng, too, because uh, that's doing the same type of thing that we're doing with these others. We'll just take a quick look at this. The reason why I do this Hang Seng every week is because we have so many so many students and friends over in the uh, Hong Kong area and China. Uh, and you can see we're right up to this uh, 30,100, 31,000 uh, level in that Hang Seng. So that's going to be an interesting one to see if it uh, holds this level. We have a nice butterfly three-drive pattern. It's not a butterfly. It's a three-drive pattern into that high, and we'll see whether that holds it or not. But we're over some considerable considerable time here. Now, I'm going to do a two-hour show today because I'm going to help Tommy O'Brien do his segment with, uh, with Tom Sr., who's out of the office. So I'll be doing that today, and then I'll be doing the three to five segment for Tom O'Brien um, tomorrow. And also on Wednesday, I'll be doing uh, two hours in the afternoon from 3 to 5. I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet, but I'm going to have some special guests, hopefully one really special guest. And uh, I'm just in the, I'm, I've almost got him talked into it. So we'll see if he's going to do it. And I believe me, he'll be as, as interesting as Super Dave is because he's a really smart guy. We'll talk about cryptocurrencies and some of the stuff that's going on in uh, – uh, and uh, the Brexit and stuff like that. No, my, t I talked to uh, the president. Uh, he calls me every day to ask me what to, t to tweet. But uh, today I was real busy. Anyway, by the way, those of you that like golf, I, I don't, I'm not a big golf aficionado. Uh, I have a two handicap in golf, uh, driving and putting. But the uh, yes, it would be John Jameson if I can get him, Marshall. Uh, I've almost got him lined up, but not quite. But uh, to watch Tiger play yesterday and come back is not so much – that he won is the way that he came back through uh, the adversity. You know, a guy who's, you know, the top of his game and for the last 10 years, man, you talk about how your head can get screwed up. Uh, <laughs> there's a perfect example of it. But the guy is, uh, he's a terrific athlete. 
you know, and uh, he uh, is, uh, he's one heck of a golfer, that's for sure. It's very exciting, though, to, to watch how it, uh, I just don't understand the game that well, so I, I don't, you know, I don't know too much about it. Okay, let's move on here and take, uh, before we get to the uh, one I want to talk about the most, which is, of course, the gold, I want to talk about the bonds first. Uh, here is the, the German Bund weekly chart. We talked about this uh, a few weeks ago when this was making this pattern where we had the uh, beautiful Gartley pattern up at the, where the ABCD measured and went a tad above the 78% level. Now we're heading down. Looks like we're going to complete a, a Gartley pattern down here about the 162 level. We're seeing the same thing in our Treasury bonds. They're under pressure. Uh, they had that area of 150. That was so very, very important. That was a 61% retracement on the weekly chart. And that is, boy, that, that tells you where it wants to go, folks. It wants to go lower now. Remember, it took from October all the way to uh, April to make that 61% retracement. So that's a, that's a significant rally in a bear market. And it was at the exact 61% retracement from the high in August. Now, we had that ABC, excuse me, the head and shoulders pattern that we can see there, but now you see we're backing off too much. That means that that head and shoulders pattern is not going to be what we thought it was because we're already uh, almost at the 61% retracement of the low from the 143.08, uh, uh, 144.28 uh, level. So that's, that's telling you that this wants to go lower. That first little rally, remember, this is a daily chart, and if you look at it very closely, You'll notice that after we made the top at that 150.20, we came down for about six or seven days, and then we rallied for four days, and we could only rally three-quarters of a point. We couldn't even make a 382 rally, folks, and then look where we are now. We're trading below 147 again. That's not a very, very, uh, not a very bullish pattern. That means we're going lower. Uh, whether we get a 382 retracement or not, you know, remains to be seen, but that's what it looks like with these treasury bonds. These uh, treasury bonds, treasury notes, looks like interest rates are going lower. I know that the whole world is talking about negative interest rates, and that might happen here. I don't know, but uh, my goodness, if negative interest rates happen, that means the bonds are probably going to have to go to 200. And I, uh, I'll be on a, well, <laughs> if that happens, I have to get Walter out of the old corral here and head him out into the desert because uh, my trusty little burrow won't believe that one. I just don't understand how people can even contemplate negative interest rates. I, I don't know where academia comes up with that, but they came up with quantitative easing too. So they don't ask me about these things, but to, to pay someone to hold your money, uh, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I know banks do it, but, uh, oh, well, I better get off the soapbox and not worry too much about it. We've got a break coming up here. When we get back to the break, we're going to take a look at the gold market uh, very, very extensively, and we'll see if we can come up with something that looks interesting in gold because it has a little bit of a uh, uh, negative uh, connotation on the charts here because we're breaking down again tomorrow after the big break on Friday, so it'll be very important to watch the gold as it starts to move down so we'll be right back 877-927-6648 The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the gold market. Uh, we're going to go back to last December. Remember, gold bottomed a couple of years ago, December of 2016, when it was down at 1030. We had a pretty good rally there, a couple hundred bucks, and we backed off to 1170. You can see that right there in August. But this is what we've got coming up now is uh, very, very unusual because you can see the head and shoulders pattern that we have here. Now, that really is a perfect definition of a head and shoulders pattern. You have the left shoulder, uh, then you have the head, and then you have the right shoulder. The right shoulder should be higher than the left shoulder if it's bullish. And if our forecast is correct, and we're not sure that it is yet for sure, but it looks like we could be heading down to the area of around 1260 uh, to 1255 is what we're looking for. Folks, we're only $30 away. You know, it's not very far. You could be there in a few minutes, actually. But uh, I, don't, I think it's going to take longer than that. One of the things that uh, this was uh, Edwards and McGee did some work on the head and shoulder pattern along with other people. But if you look at the distance between the left shoulder and the head and the head and the right shoulder, uh, it comes out to be equal. That date comes in on the 22nd of April, folks. That's a week from today. So there is a possibility that we could be down one more week. We've now taken out the lows of April. We did that just a little bit a while ago, but we are, we can easily get a 11 to $17 rally in gold at any time. And so you have to be prepared. If you're looking for something bigger, you got to set through that because you don't know if it's a fake out or not. But between 11 and $17 rally in gold happens all the time. We know that the harmonic number in gold is 34. We saw that on the way down because it stopped right at uh, 1282. And the other thing that we know is that when it rallies halfway back, half the harmonic number, that's 17, and 61% of 17 is 11. So all of that sort of fits together. But if you look at this really closely, and those of you that get the newsletter, we went into this extensively, you'll notice that the the ABCD pattern measures down to around 1257. That's the 50% retracement. That is also going to be the 61% retracement of the low that we made in November, which was also a 61% retracement off of the low that we made on August the 14th, which was right near that eclipse. So these are all lining up really nicely, and it's going to be interesting as we come in here next Monday because we have a holiday on Friday. Um, 
a holy day. I shouldn't call it a holiday. It's a holy day on Friday, being Good Friday. And so uh, we'll have a really interesting time to look at this on the 22nd. And we have very, uh, very little uh, astrological uh, things happening uh, too much, but we have a, a really good sun conjunct um, Mercury, which might be uh, something very important because that was known as combust to, uh, I believe that's Mercury. My eyes are so bad I can't see it. Nope, it's Neptune. Sun conjunct Neptune, which would be related to crude oil, not to gold. But anyway, the 22nd is where the measurement comes in. It could happen any time. It could not happen at all. All I know is that this is a perfect setup for buying gold. And, um, you know, I've been bullish gold for a very long time, and I'm looking to buy it again. I bought it back there at the 1178 level, and I bought it again at 1200 and I uh, got out of I got out of it way too soon, but it still was a good trade. I'm still looking for to, this buy to come down in here. We're still short. We're thinking we could still get to this level, and if we do, we will reverse uh, and go short. Now, any time that – let's play the devil's advocate here because the devil's out here trading too. But you'll notice we had the high that happened here uh, in uh, late uh, February, then we had the 61% retracement that was perfect at 1324. Then we came down, rallied up again to a perfect 78% level, 1314. Now we're trading around 1287, and I think we could easily get down there to this level that we're looking for. But if by any chance that we get above 1320, in other words, something happens that makes the gold explode to the upside. That means that this pattern is not uh, in vogue anymore and something is seriously wrong. But if it does get down to that level, uh, I would suggest you look at it really, really closely because this is going to be one of the, the more one of the clearest ABCD patterns that you can get. Notice the time. Go back last year from when we made the uh, little butterfly pattern up at the top there. Uh, at the 78% level on the long-term weekly chart at 1368. You'll notice that on the way down, there was only one really clear ABCD pattern, and it, it only had a rally of about four or five days, which is almost nothing. It was pretty much a straight-down move, whereas this one has several swings inside of it. So that's, and not only that, but you've got a head and shoulders there, which uh, is one of the more popular of the technical patterns. This is one of the key patterns that Dr. Andrew Lowe you know, analyzed in his book, Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. So uh, this is going to be interesting. Now, whether it happens or not, I don't know. This is the same pattern that we've seen in the Treasury bonds that I posted just a little while ago. When bonds were down there, you know, making that 382 retracement with the ABCD pattern, this would be the same type of a pattern. And the bonds, you know, they, they rallied more than five points off that spot. So it's not, uh, it's not something that you don't want to pay too much attention to because it's uh, – it's very, very important. Now, if we look at the silver market, just to give you an idea of, uh, you know, because silver is the poor man's gold. Uh, hold on here. Can the, Larry, Ruby saying, Larry, can the dollar going down and going down? For, yeah, I don't know anything. I, you know, I don't look at those things that way, Ruby. I look at the darn chart, and I, I, the less I try to figure in what the heck's happening, I'm better off, Ruby. All I know is if I look at the price of gold, there's more buyers or sellers. That's all I'm looking at. If I start trying to figure out, oh, what's the relationship to the dollar? What's the relationship to the yen? You know, that's that's beyond this old Italian's pay grade, so I stay away from that. I look at that chart. That's what's going to tell me what's what it's looking at, and that's what I try to do. I've got a lot of smart people out there that send me stuff that is really, really interesting, but I can't let it affect what I'm looking at because I just look at the chart and it says, okay, if I do it here, this is what I know I'm going to risk. All that other stuff is like cobwebs for me, Ruby, and that I'm, I'm telling you like it is, dear. I'd like to, I'd like to say yes, I'm like Super Dave, and you know, read about all that stuff and learn the fundamentals and stuff. But I frankly have not done that in years. I look at them one at a time, and if I can see something in that, that's what I'm looking at. I, I keep it as simple as possible. I'm just not. Uh, you know, especially, you know, I'm going to be in my eighth decade here pretty soon. And I, uh, you know, I really uh, just don't have the energy to do all that stuff. And it's easier for me to do it this way. So that's what I'm looking at. So let's take a look here at the silver. I hope that helps, Ruby, but that's the truth. I, uh, 
I could give you a lot of, you know, BS, which I do a lot of the time anyway, but I could say, you know, yeah, I do all this stuff, but I don't. I just look at those patterns. Here's a, here's a perfect example. You're seeing silver here. We have a different pattern in silver. This says it's going to, you know, bottom down around the 25th of uh, of uh, uh, April, and that would be down at the 440 an ounce level. See, all these are getting close, you know, to these levels, so it's it's already telling <clears throat> it's already telling you that it wants to go there. So, the, but and at any time you can get eleven to seventeen dollar rally. You know that's seventeen hundred dollars. You don't want to set with a, you know, unless you sold it really good. And then you say, okay, I have to, I have to make my game plan is I want to be able to see if I can get out of the short position at around twelve sixty. That's what my game plan is. Now, whether I do that or not, you know, I don't know. Right now, it's got a nice profit in it. But if I have to give some of it back to make that, I've got to make that decision and. That's what I'm doing. I hope that helps. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I want to bring this uh, chart of platinum up. It might help answer Ruby's question about the looking at gold and the dollar because I, I will look at the metals themselves, but I won't interchange the uh, intermarket analysis with the U.S. dollar and the euro and all that stuff. That's just, I just can't do it. But let's take a look at this platinum. You notice we had that big uh, ABCD pattern that completed up there at that 9, 915. Announced the high was 920. 
We're now backing off. Uh, we're almost, if you'll notice the old highs that we had there, we're at 882. You see how they line up, the high we made in November, the high we made in uh, in uh, February, and then that would also bring in right around that 880 level. It's very, very interesting. That's, you know, that's coming down to that point. So what I do is I, and I'm not trading platinum right now, I'm just looking at it, but what I do is I'll go in and I'll go over the last five or six days to see if I can get an area that'll tell me that we're going to get down to that uh, that area near uh, the uh, 20, excuse me, the 9, um, excuse me, the 880, uh, 3880 level, and you can see we've been to uh, 883 already this morning. We're trading around 885. That is a butterfly pattern that we're seeing now over the past, uh, you know, five trading days. But uh, it's setting at a really interesting spot here, technically. Now, if we go below the 80, excuse me, the 870 uh, uh, level, that's quite a ways. That's $15 from here. That means it's you know going to break down some more. Now, if I'm looking at gold to go down another. $25, most probably platinum's not going to go up during that time. It, you know, it can, but that's what I'm saying. And then it, it also silver would be dropping another 40 cents down to the uh, 1440 level. But at those levels, look at all the things you have going on at those levels in silver and gold. There's where you want to make your stand. I mean, you've got so much stuff. Uh, technically, if you like technical stuff like pattern recognition, you've got everything lined up at that point. I mean, the gold and silver should be on your watch list. It's certainly on mine, and I, uh, you know, I'm basically I'm still short the gold, and I think that we got a chance at some lower levels. But at any time, we can get 11 to 17 dollar rally that'll scare the bejeebies out if you're short. We've seen these already. We've set through those. We did we did cover and then put it back out again on one of them. But you know, you don't always get that chance. So. That's uh, one of the things that we're keeping an eye on. This is uh, you can make a textbook on this gold chart, folks. Yeah, silver too, but gold even more so, because it's uh, all the pattern recognition things that you look at. You've got time and price. Uh, you know, just got you know harmony. You've got harmonic numbers. You know, you got the whole gamilla. So I think it's going to be real interesting if we get to that level. Uh, we're trading it. Uh, see, we're only uh, 30 uh, le less than 30 bucks away, which uh, isn't very much, so uh, especially when things get a little hairy like they do in some of these markets, uh, you can easily get to those levels without uh, too much trouble. So uh, we're watching it closely, but it's up to you to do it yourself. You're the one that has to take the responsibility for these trades, folks. We can give you some ideas, but uh, you're the one that has to put in the order and take the responsibility, you know, for uh, for doing it. That's the the real key. I think it's uh, some, something that's very, very important. The other thing that I want to mention, since we're talking a little bit about trading and, and, and uh, Tiger Woods, you know, the thing that you've got to give Tiger credit for is he never gave up. He didn't need the money. He, he certainly set for the rest of his life being worth a few billion dollars or more, but uh, he didn't give up. He knew he could come back. Uh, I know uh, looking down in the sky is his old pop looking at him telling him that, uh, you know, you did the right thing. You know, he made some bad mistakes along the way. But, uh, you know, he's done a lot for golf and a lot for a whole lot of other people. And uh, so uh, I, I respect him for coming back. That was the main thing that I was really excited about because he did as much for golf as Larry Bird and uh, Magic Johnson did for basketball. So that, uh, that's quite a bit. So they deserve all those accolades and uh and I believe me, I'm certainly not a not a golf fan at all. This is, it equals bowling. I don't know why they don't have professional bowling on too. Let's I, that's I better shut up, Larry. You're gonna lose all your customers. Here's let's take a look at the bit. We're gonna be coming down. Want to pay real close attention to Bitcoin now, folks, because we're gonna have a chance. We don't we don't trade it, but we look at it. We made the Gartley down there. You can see that very very clearly at point D at 3,400. We rallied 2,000 points to 5,400. And now we're backing off. You want to see the 382. That'll come in, if it does, uh, at around the 4,700 mark. So watch watch Bitcoin, because if we hit 4,700 and take off from there, then you've got something that could be, uh, you know, very, very important. I really hope that I'm able to get John Jameson on uh, in the afternoon, either tomorrow uh, 
or today, tomorrow, or Tuesday. <laughs> Let's try Tuesday is tomorrow, <laughs> either Tuesday or Wednesday, and uh, have him discuss uh, the situation that uh, he sees in Bitcoin because in, in cryptocurrencies and blockchains, he really knows this stuff. He was one of the first people involved in the internet, and uh, he is uh, he really is well uh, well schooled in this. And I'm really close. I. I'm really close to getting him on. I think it would be really great to to hear what he says about that, and it would be able. Yes, I I remember one of my friends who's a really good golfer said Tiger would never win another championship, and uh, I I didn't believe that, but uh, he said his back was so bad that he would never recover. But evidently he's recovered, so that's good. Okay, let's. Uh, we talked about the Bitcoin. Let's move on to the U.S. dollar since. Uh, we are we're still hovering these real critical level folks let's do the dollar index first and then we will do the uh, euro to match it out a little bit here we'll see here what we've got is the uh, US dollar you see we had the double top up there that's at that 9770 level then we had the really sharp sell off that stopped right at the 78% level on March the 19th spot on right at a 78% level what did we do we rallied right up to exact 78% level, down to a 38% level where we were on Friday. Uh, this is still a very bullish chart. Now realize that in the last nine days, all we've been able to do, folks, is to make a 382, retra uh, 382 uh, retracement. That is a bullish sign. That is a very bullish sign. So uh, at any moment, I think we can see a really strong move in the dollar, i.e. up and the euro, i.e. down. But uh, that's a really important chart there in the U.S. dollar index. Friday's low was an exact 382 off of the low we made back on uh, the, uh, what was it, the uh, May, May 9th, March 19th. And uh, anytime we clear 97.20, uh, uh, it should have a lot of legs on it. And if we get above 97.80 or 98, this thing can really go. So, uh, and that means that the euro would be heading towards the old uh, drain. Let's just take a look at the euro because it's just sitting here. Uh, here you can see the exact opposite in the euro. This is the euro. You'll look at it here. I don't know if you think this is interesting or not, folks, but it's interesting to me. You see the euro made its uh, low on April 1st, okay, and it's rallied 10 days. We've got as high as uh, 113.30, and uh, we need this to... You know, hasn't really gone anywhere. There's a couple of small ABCDs in there if you look at it on the, you know, 15-minute chart. But that's a really, really quiet rally off of any bottom. As you can see, the bottom from March 4th was really strong. The bottom from March, uh, from February 15th was very strong. This has done very little. So it's looking weak to me. I don't know if that means anything or not, but it just looks weak technically. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when 
when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Well, we're back, folks. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'll take a look at sugar in just a minute, Ruby. Let's take a quick look here at the overall commodity markets here. This is from Bloomberg. Uh, this is a monthly chart going back uh, many, many years, uh, well over, let me see, it's about seven or eight years right there. you notice that we have a uh, situation now where we're completing a really nice garden. In fact, we've already completed it a few months ago uh, in the, uh, the commodity, so that could be a really interesting spot. You'll notice that's the uh, on the lower two triangles that you see down there. Uh, that Gartley pattern. The first one on the left was a butterfly. That that occurred back in uh, 2013, 2015. But if you'll notice the, uh, I think that's 2015. I can't read the dates. They're too small. <laughs> anyway, this is a well, monthly chart, so it's got to go back a couple years anyway. Uh, we, we made a Gartley there. We've had a pretty good rally, so it could be we're in the real uh, bottoming process now. Remember, we've had these really good uh, crops over the you know the past few years since uh, 2016 so uh, we're due for something uh well, 2015 so we're due for a pretty good crop uh shake up here is my guess or some type of stimulated demand whether it comes from china or not i don't know i don't believe anything that's that comes out of the government anymore but if you look at this chart you can certainly see that uh it's been in a long basing action for a very very long time and uh, it is, uh, it's got legs if it gets out of here, that's for sure. Okay, let's take a look at the sweet for the sweetest little ruby over here. We'll get up the old, uh, if we can find the futures, there we are. And we'll get the sugar coming in right here. And you'll see here in sugar, we're making a nice bottom. Uh, we've got a good place. Uh, it's up a little bit today. It's trading uh, up near that 1295 level. Uh, we completed a little garley down there at the 1230. Uh, that tells us that we want to get up. We need uh, sugar to get above that 1350 uh, area, Ruby, because that would be the last month's highs from January, February. That would tell you that you've got a really large ABCD forming that will take it close to uh, $15. So that's something that you want to be able to uh, uh, want to be able to do. That's I think it's very important that uh, that we do that. So. Uh, if we can get above that, that's okay. Now, cocoa, we should look at that because uh, when they make hot chocolate, they always throw in a little uh, cocoa along with the sugar. And you see cocoa here is in an area where it should have a pretty good correction here. You'll notice we've had that really nice bottoming. We had the 135 pattern, 
And we came down and we tested that 2140. And I, I, I bracketed that in red uh, brackets because it had a double bottom there and it must hold that 2140 level. And that was the low. It didn't get any lower than that. And then it's had this huge move. We went from 2140 all the way up to 2450. And now we're chopping around here for a few days. What we need now is a 382 pullback in Cocoa to come down to about 2325 and then start back up again. And then you've got a, uh, a really nice picture to the upside. Now, I don't trade Cocoa at all. I did my first coffee trade a couple of weeks ago and ended up making one penny after being up five cents. And I'm trying to get back in it today, but so far it's up a little bit too much. So I've got to, I've got to wait a little bit. But if you'll notice the... Uh, the pattern that we had at the 78% level, we had that three drive pattern there. And the, the easy one was the one, three, five pattern. When we had that, uh, either three was a great buy because it was a, a, a pullback and number five was a great buy. It was a pullback and they were equal in time, folks. If you look at the time that it took to get to point three from the high and point five from the high, those were equal in time. That's what we mean by symmetry. Because when you line up that time with the price, uh, that's perfect geometry, and that's what uh, that's what this thing is all about. And it's not just cocoa; it's other things too that we're looking at. I'm seeing, and I don't know if I'm, you know, uh, not seeing it clearly or not, or but I'm seeing some really interesting bottoming patterns uh, in some of these things that people are very bearish on. Corn being one. If we take a look here at the corn market, you'll just take a look at. It, you'll be able to see it here. You know, we went down, we didn't quite take out the lows for the year with that really, really bearish report. And then you notice it's held again. I mean, if we can clear above, you know, 392, that's only three cents from where it closed on Friday, you know, you've got a chance to, uh, you know, really make it, uh, you know, something really spectacular. But son of a gun, you know, uh, we don't know if that's, uh, if that's going to happen or not. But no one else does either, you know, so we're watching it. We're watching the news. You know, I talk to Rich Anderson every single day, so I'm only the same, and we're following the weather patterns, and they pay a lot of money for these weather patterns, and as soon as we see the slightest indication that El Nino might raise its head, we're going to be heavily long these grains because they're making some type of a bottom. The news has been very bearish. I mean, they're throwing more and more corn at us and beans and wheat and everything. Look at the wheat market, what they did to the wheat, for heaven's sakes. You know, that was a really, really big one. If you remember, let's just, just, just bring our member up here so we can remember this. Hold on a second. I want to show you that Minneapolis wheat because even though I, I don't trade Minneapolis, we wanted to bring it to your attention because we were right at that 1.618 level uh, last week at that 522, and we had a nice 18-cent uh, rally just off of that number. It's still still holding above there, so that could be a significant bottom in the Minneapolis wheat. Uh, John Jameson asked me a question this weekend uh, on Saturday. He said, if God said you can only trade one number, what number would you trade? And my answer to that was um, the 1.618 number. And the reason for that is when you're looking at that chambered nautilus and watching that thing go around and go around following those Fibonacci spirals, the end of that spiral comes in at 1.618. And if you go beyond 1.618, from my perspective, that it's going to some number that's a whole lot bigger than 1.618. So if it doesn't stop exactly at 1.618, you're uh, you're probably in trouble, and that was my answer. I couldn't use an A B C D. I couldn't use a Gardley. I couldn't use a three drive. I only had to use one number, and so that's what I did. And then we went and looked at several of these trades that we were looking at, and uh, eight out of ten of them worked. So uh, 1.618 is a key level, folks. That's uh, that's the. Uh, if you ever read a book called uh, what was the name of the book? Uh, oh, by Greta Wood, you. Uh, where she talks to an extraterrestrial <laughs> lady from Connecticut, a psychic, and, and an extraterrestrial. She said, how do I get in touch with you? She said, he, the AT said, use the intergalactic phone number, 1618. I don't know. Uh, on a slide of light, that was the name of the book. Very, very popular 20-some years ago. A lady was a psychic in Connecticut. I don't know if she's still there or not, but her name was Greta would you? And she evidently channeled an extraterrestrial. I don't believe any of that stuff, but I do believe in 1.618. That one thing I do believe in, that is absolutely for sure. 
Now, um, someone's asked me the question here, how confident do I feel of the gold getting down to that level? Well, I don't know how confident I feel the gold to get to that level, but all I know is it's heading down there. You know, it could change at any time and, you know, reverse. I, I don't know, but nobody else does either. You know, I'm just watching the price action. Somebody's selling gold more than they're buying it. You know, they can tell you whatever China's doing or whatever, you know, Ukraine is doing or uh, uh, Vladimir Putin. It doesn't make any difference, but it, 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 there's the prices are going lower. Now, when they get down, I will almost bet when they get down to 1260 to 1256, if they get there, they're not going to be too many people bullish. That's my guess because there were a whole lot of people bullish at 1350. There are not too many people bullish now. And that's the way they write the rules, right, boys and girls? 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we want to talk a little bit uh, more about the uh, gold market. I don't know if that top is going to be or that bottom is going to be made down there or not. All I'm looking at is what might happen. I don't know what the future is, but nobody else does either. So uh, pay close attention to that because uh, it's just probability. That's all it is. Keep a, keep a very, very close eye on it, that's for sure. We've got the euro trading at this 113.03 level. We've only been able to rally a little more than 150 pips in 10 days. That's a very, very small rally. 
And uh, like we said, any move below that 1175 level in the Europe would send the U.S. dollar index soaring and the euro heading a whole lot lower. So sort of keep that in mind as you're, as you're watching these things unfold. I believe we've made a major top in crude oil. Uh, we've seen it in the, in the crude oil. We've also seen it in the gasoline futures, went up to the 78% level. The crude oil went to the 61% le level at 64.60. So that's, uh, you know, it's going to be really, really interesting what happens to it uh, as we come into these, uh, these key times. Uh, it's a lot of action coming in April for sure. So keep, it, keep a close eye on it. Watch this crude oil, folks. This could easily have $5 to the downside, which is 5000 bucks. So uh, it's, it's you got to try to find a good place. Find a nice little ABCD on the 30-minute chart, you know, to get short, hopefully at a 61 or 78% level, and that's about it. Well, stay tuned. I'll be back with an, in about another five minutes or so, 10 minutes, to work with Tommy Jr. on uh, some of the other things that are happening in the market, and uh, we'll get with you in another hour. And uh, so live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Thanks for joining me, and we'll... Uh, See you, and if you stay with us, we'll see you in another 10 minutes or so. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the flip side tomorrow. <laughs>